Hello and welcome back to Excel 2013. So today we're going to be having a look at the H lookup function. This is a bit like the V lookup function, however instead of using vertical tables, we're using horizontal tables. So what this function will do is we'll look up a value and then it will check it within a table of data. Then when it finds that value, it will return a different value from that table. So let's have a look at it in action. At the moment, we're having a look at this wage, if we look at this formula, and we're finding it. If it is less than the, value, the next value in the table, it will stay at the previous one and return 5%. So 29,000 is less than 30,000, but it's more than 20,000, so it will be within this category, which is 5%. Similarly, 56,000 is less than 60,000, more than 50,000. So it will come here on the right hand side of the screen. And instead of going less than 60, so it will go more than 50, so it will return 20%. So let's have a look at how we use HLOOKUP. Just going to delete what's in this cell, and I'm going to now put in the formula. So we start with equals HLOOKUP. And now we're going to check our lookup value. This is going to be our wage. This is the value we want to check in our table. Now we have to select our table array. So we're going to start in the top and end at the bottom here. And I'm also going to press F4 while doing this to put in absolute referencing. So when we drag our columns, our formula down to be in other columns, it won't change our table array. Now we need to insert a row index number. This is a bit like what we had in VLOOKUP. So it is the row that we want the value to be returned from. So if we're looking at these values and then we want the tax rate, that is the second row of our table. So we'd insert two. If, say, we wanted a value which is in a third row of a table, we'd put in three, etc. Now we want an approximate match here. Because each individual value of currency, or money, isn't in the table. We want it to be the one that it's close to, or just above. So we're going to put true. If you wanted the values to be an exact match, like we had in H in VLOOKUP, where you're looking at a specific thing in a table, then you would put false. And now we can just press enter. And that is inserted our HLOOKUP function. We can then drag this down. And it will work perfectly. You can also have your tables on separate data sheets, like I have here. All you do is you select the table on the other sheet, and it will do Excel will do all the hard work for you. But for now, that's all we're going to be showing you in this tutorial. But stay tuned on our channel, and there'll be plenty more tutorials. But now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.